Are you looking for the best makeup powders? In this video I'm going to show you my favorite ones and the ones that you need to try. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist and a makeup lover and here in my channel I always share with you all of my love for makeup, I share with you makeup tips, what are my favorite products, reviews of other products. So today I'm going to show you all of my favorite powders, my top fives, the ones that I grab and grab when I need my makeup to look beautiful and flawless. As I'm showing you the products, I'm going to tell you why I like them, the colors that I use, so you know all of the information about the products. So I'm going to start with one that is high, high hand. When we look at this brand, we know that it's a high hand brand, that it's from Chanel. It's the Powder Universelle Libre. My color is the number 20. That it's a light medium shade with a neutral undertone. This powder is very soft. It has a sheer light weighted coverage. So it's a very simple powder. Like it's not going to give you that much of a color, even though it has a little bit. Of course, if you are buying this one, try to choose a powder that's going to match your skin tone. This one doesn't have as much coverage as some other products. This one has pigments that illuminate the complexion, also reduce the appearance of imperfections. I really like to use this powder. I feel like when I use it, it gives a beautiful finish to my skin and it also has a good duration. If you try to mix, I don't know if you've already tried, to mix like one powder that you have with water or something like that when it's not going to mix. I feel like when I'm talking about powder complexion products, I want them to give me a lot of duration and I feel like this powder does. Of course, that it's a powder that costs a little bit, but this one also has a lot of product. It has 30 grams, so it's a good amount of product for a powder. I love the packaging of Chanel. It's always classic and it looks always good. I really love to use this one with my foundations. I use them on my makeup artist kit, on me. I feel like it's a product that it's so good, so versatile. This is one of the powders that is a little bit more dry. So if you have a more dry complexion, maybe cannot work with you. Maybe you should try others that are not as dry. I'm going to show you one that is not as dry, that it's very good for dry skins. But this is one of my favorites. You know that I have a dry skin and I like this one. Next powder, it's from Criola. It's the Dermacolor Fixing Powder. The color that I used is the P2. It's a color that has yellow undertone very beautiful. This one is also waterproof as the Chanel one and this one was made to set and to mattify the derma colors by Criola. From all of the powders that I tried, this is the only one that works with derma colors that I feel like it looks good with derma colors. So if you have derma colors, you need to use this powder. Even though you can't really use the derma color with other powders, you can use this powder with other products, with other foundations. I really use this one a lot also on my clients because I feel like it's amazing. It has an amazing quality. It's not too, too pricey. And this one doesn't have too much color when you are applying it. So I really think that it's an amazing powder. This one is also more matte like the Chanel one as well. And this one is other that if you try to mix it with water, it's not going to mix. They are really waterproof, which is amazing. Like I love to use this kind of products, especially on my brides, because I want the makeup to look amazing. Like if they are crying, because normally they are all day. This is a product that gives so much duration to the skin. I use it on me and my skin looks beautiful until the end of the day. Are you liking the video? If you are, don't forget to go down there and click on the thumbs up button for me to know that you are liking this one. And the next one, it's from Huda Beauty. It's the Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder. The color that I use on this one, it's the Pound Cake. It's a really good color that works very well. It's more of a peachy yellow undertone, which I love. And also one thing that this powder has that I love, it's the scent. This one is one that I only use on myself. I don't use on my clients. This is the second bottle that I buy 
So as you can see, if I didn't really like this one, I wouldn't bought this one again. So just an amazing product. I don't know how it would look in skins that are too, too dry on mine. It works good, I really like to use it. But I don't know if you have like a super dry skin, how it would work. I really feel like this one color corrects very well. Maybe because also the color that I use, the, the pound cake, I really feel like it neutralized that dark under area underneath my eyes. I feel like this one is amazing for that. It's amazing to bake like Uda Beauty created this powder because she loves to bake. Like that's the name as well. Uh, loose baking and setting powder. Of course that you can bake with this one and it's one of the best for me that I tried to bake. I think that it works amazingly. So just another amazing powder that I love to use and that I grab a lot. The fourth powder that I have in here, it's also from a brand that I love. It's from Danessa Myricks. I think that this brand, it's been amazing to know more products and I bought the powder because everyone was talking good things about it. So of course that I had to try it. This is the Evolution powder. My color, it's the number one. It's the translucent color. It's the white one. I think that you can see there on the camera. I decided to buy the white one because it's a color that you can use on like every color that you have, every skin color that you have. This one is very fine, very lightweighted, it's translucent. This was the one that I was talking about, that it's an amazing powder for dry skins because it doesn't mattify as much as the other ones do. You don't feel like it's too matte, but it gives a beautiful skin an amazing duration. Vanessa has products that give amazing duration if you know that color fixes and also the foundation all of the products that i have from the brand i love and the powder it's not different from the others this one also minimizes the appearance of texture and fine lines which is great if you have a skin like a more mature skin it also works amazing so this powder is amazing for mature skin for dry skin it's an amazing product that i also love to use on my clients I think that the Vanessa Myricks powder is amazing. Also, this one absorbs oil. And when I apply this one, I feel like it takes a lot of the shine of the skin. If you have a skin that is too oily, it's going to take that oiliness out of the skin, but it's not going to dry the skin. I really feel like this is another amazing product. One of my favorite powders that like, I grab so much because it's so amazing. So if you haven't tried this one, and if you are a makeup artist, you really need to try this one. If you're not a makeup artist, I think that you should try it as well because I think that you are going to love it. For the question of the day, I want to know what is your favorite powder, which is the one that you love. I want to know if it's the same as one of the five that I'm showing you or if you like another and if I should try it as well. So go down there on the comments area and tell me everything. And the last product that I have to talk about, unfortunately, I don't have it anymore because I finished it, but it's another powder that I love so much. I'm going to leave a photo in here so you can see which is the powder, but I think that you probably know about. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Probably know this one because this is one of that powders that everyone talks about and even no other brands launched uh, powders after the Laura Mercier. Not all of them have amazing products even though the ones that i showed you before are amazing i love all of these four but i think that laura mercier was one of the first brands that launched a powder that it was amazing the color that i had was the number one like the translucent color and i think that it's amazing it was a color that worked amazing for me this one has a 24 hours shine control and 16 hours wear. Also reduce shine and it also doesn't empathize texture and doesn't look cakey. It also smooths and blurs the skin and if you are like taking a photo with flash, it doesn't flash back. So it's a really amazing powder. We know that it's a powder that was one of the first of the best powders on the market. It really is a good product. It still is a good product. So if you haven't tried it, I think that it's an amazing product for you to try. This is a powder that looks very beautiful on the skin. 
I always love to look at myself in a mirror, like look at the skin when I was wearing the powder because I always felt like the skin looked beautiful. It was a product that I had on my makeup artist kit as well because I love to use it. I felt like it worked amazing with a lot of skins. I also use it on a lot of brides. Even though I don't have it anymore because it was over, I'm thinking about repurchasing it. These were my top five of powders, the one that I love to use. If you like this video and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell. And also don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't done it yet. I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use so you can go there and follow me as well. Now that I shared with you my five, my top five of powders, I want to thank you so much for being here, for watching my video until the end. And I really hope to see you on my next one. Bye!